Hey guys, Epic Steve here. Today I'll be playing through the Mass Effect 3 demo, which finally became available today on the PS3. Um, I'll be focusing on the single player portion of it this time around because although there is an option for multiplayer, because I didn't buy Battlefield 3, I have to wait until Friday. Uh, apparently, if you did buy Battlefield 3, then you were given a code or something which enables you to uh, get early access into the multiplayer area. But if you didn't buy it, then, you know, like me, you have to wait until Friday, which is when they'll open up to everyone. And, but until then, um, let's get on with the single player. Uh, I'll go ahead and play as a female, because why not? And there you are, it says the release dates. North America, 6th of March, and here in Europe, it's the 9th of March. We get it three days later. Bastards. Right. Uh, select the type of experience you would like to have. You can change these settings at any time in the options menu. Right, so basically this is the part where you get to choose... Uh, I'm gonna guess how the game plays out. Um, action, role-playing, or story. Uh, story obviously being the one where it focuses more on what's happening and makes the combat really easy. And action is the exact opposite of that. Where it's mainly gun action and it probably chooses a lot of the conversation options for you. However, I'm going to go for role-playing, the middle ground, because I like, you know, to have choices in regards to, uh, to conversations. So I'm just going to go ahead also and leave the name exactly as it is. I'm not going to change her appearance either. I'll mess around more with that when I get the actual game. Uh, please confirm your military class. Soldiers are pure combat specialists, no one is tougher or more suited to taking down enemies with barrages of gunfire. Uh, basically gives you a brief outline of each class, as well as the basic powers you'd get with them. They all play a bit differently as well. You know, obviously, otherwise if they played all similar, there'd be no real point in... ...giving you a choice. They may as well just give you one class and make it an all-rounder, I guess. Well, they're saying that... Uh... I did choose uh, the soldier class for for the second game because I figured that was as close as I was going to get to an all-rounder. Yeah, warp's a good ability. Um, yeah, because I also like the soldier as well because of the fact that you had, um, you didn't really have any special biotic abilities, but you did have um, different ammo types to make up for that, so you could still be effective against, you know, against shields, uh, armor, and, and barriers. <coughs> Engineers... I'm gonna have to play an engineer at some point. Not now, though, because I'm gonna just pick soldier, because I'm used to that. But I do like the idea of being able to, um, sabotage things. Yeah, I'll, I'll play that at some point when I get the full game. But for now, soldier. Uh, more choices. This is what I get for picking. <laughs> 
<coughs> for picking the RPG experience. You escaped a life of petty crime and underworld gangs by enlisting with the Alliance military when you turned 18. Um, I'm not entirely sure if... if this would change any kind of conversation options in the game. I never played around with it much in, in Mass Effect 2, so I don't know if this is actually um, important for conversation options or how certain people react to you or not, but seeing as it's Bioware, I can't see this being just filler. Uh, I'm gonna go with Earthborn. Seeing as it is my home planet after all. Soul Survivor, War Hero, and Ruthless. Yeah, these were pretty much all the same options you had in the second game. Oh, this one's different. Uh, this is to do with the first game. Um, I never got to play that because the original was never actually released on the PS3. But when it played through the second game, Mass Effect 2, it played out like Caden was dead. So, for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to say that Ashley died. Now, just to even things out. Press X to accept. And then press X to enter after you've accepted it. I guess that's to make sure you're not being an idiot or something. How bad is it? Bad. We just lost contact with two of our deep space outposts. There's something massive on long-range scanners. Is this what Shepard warned us about? Yes. I'd stake my life on it. How long do we have? Not long. I sent word. The fleet's immobilizing. God help us all. You're gonna need more than God at this point. And now basically the short version of what equates to things are going fine in space until suddenly things started going really crappy. And as usual, the fate of the universe is down to one person. Commander. You're not supposed to call me that anymore, James. Not supposed to salute you either. We gotta go. The defense committee wants to see you. Sounds important. What's going on? Couldn't say. Just told me they needed you. Now. Anderson! Buddy! Anderson? Admiral? You look good, Shepard. Maybe a little soft around the edges. How are you holding up since being... Are you trying to say I'm fat? It's not so bad once you get used to the hot food and soft beds. We'll get it sorted out. What's going on? Why is everyone in such a hurry? Admiral Hackett's mobilizing the fleets. I'm guessing words made it to Alliance Command. Something big's headed our way. The Reapers? We don't know. Not for certain. What else could it be? If I knew that. 
Well, yeah, pretty much. What else could it be? It's either the Reapers or... What? It's the Reapers, and we're not ready for them, not by a long shot. Tell that to the Defense Committee. Unless we're planning to talk the Reapers to death, the Committee is a waste of time. They're just scared. None of them have seen what you've seen. We've all reviewed your report, seen the data you've collected. But it's all just theory to us. You've been there, in the trenches, fighting them. You know what they're capable of. That way they grounded me? Took away my ship? You know that's not true. The shit you've done, any other soldier would have been tried, court-martialed, and discharged. It's your knowledge of the Reapers that kept that from happening. That and your good word. Yeah, I trust you, ship. And so does the committee. I'm just a soldier, Anderson. I'm no politician. I don't need you to be either. I just need you to do whatever the hell it takes to help us stop the Reapers. They're expecting you to, Admiral. Good luck in there, Shepard. Anderson? Shepard. Caden. How'd it go in there, Major? Okay, I think. Hard to know. I'm just waiting for orders now. Admiral. Come on. Time to present our case, I guess. You know the commander? I used to. A long time ago. Before things started going crazy. Admiral Anderson. Shepard. What's the situation? We were hoping you would tell us. The Reapers are coming. The reports They're coming in are unlike End of anything meeting. we've seen. Whole colonies have gone dark. We've lost contact with everything beyond the Soul Relay. Whatever this is, it's incomprehensible. It's the Reapers. You brought me here to confirm what you already know. The Reapers are here. Then, how do we stop them? <laughs> Stop. Good luck with that. This isn't about strategy or tactics. This is about survival. The Reapers are more advanced than we are, more powerful, more intelligent. They don't fear us. And they'll never take pity on us. But there must be some way. Mm, short of a couple of million atomic bombs. Ain't gonna happen. Not in five minutes, anyway. Eh, uh, that's like try the United Front thing. If we're gonna have any chance at surviving this, we have to stand together. That's it. That's our plan. Do you have anything better? Contact with Luna Base. The moon. It couldn't be that close already. How they get past our defenses? Sir, UK Headquarters has a visual. UK Headquarters, represent! Ah, uh, now we're all dead. Man, this is some big bugs. haven't we heard from Admiral Hackett? What do we do? The only thing we can. We fight or we die. We How is that a difficult it. option? Uh, this sounds like bad news. Oh my god. Yeah. This isn't gonna end well. Oh! Shit, shit. 
shit, shit. Well, oh, that's the committee dead. And she's been back five minutes and she's already injured. Maybe joining the military wasn't the best career choice she could have made. Shepard! Shepard! Come on, get up. Here, take this. We've got to get moving. This is Admiral Anderson. Report in anyone. Major Alanko, is that you? What's your status? I can't raise the normal. You'll have the contact. We'll meet you at the landing zone. Anderson up. I can't take this seriously. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Come on, let's go. I'm hoping they fix that in the for the actual game because otherwise I'm just going to be laughing we'll the entire time I'm running. Uh, Looks clear. Let's go. Ah, and I moving. see you to climb over things Major, you still you have to crouch I'm behind them first. I'm really hoping they'd have changed that in this one. I mean it's not not a big issue or anything, but it just seems a bit odd. That's all. Ah I can't shoot things. You haven't forgot how to shoot, have you? Shut up, Anderson. Take him out! I'm out of ammo. Come on, we gotta move. Would you all just die? Way. Oh, now I can't go and punch him. Well, less punched Don't him and him more pistol whipped him, I guess. Oh, crotch laser. The worst kind of laser. Yeah, I don't really fancy taking him on just yet, so, uh, Gotta find a way out of here. let's go this way. Ah, medikit. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> 